guys welcome back to my channel i'm linda i'm a mom of two and i talk about all things baby and motherhood if that's something you're interested in please subscribe to my channel now in today's video i'm going to be asking the question how do you choose a dummy for your baby now that's not really a question because you don't choose the dummy for your baby your baby chooses the dummy for themselves the first one we started with was the tummy tippy one now this one is the tummy tippy newborn as you can see it's quite small um, the nipple is made from silicone. It's got that bottle sort of shape. I think that's what they call it. Um, and this was the first one that we tried with her, but she hated it. She didn't like it. She didn't want to take it and she always spat it out. So we got rid of that. Now the next one we tried was the mam newborn. This one is a very popular one. It's the butterfly shape nipple. It's made from silicone. Now this one, she did take it for a little while, but with help. So um, we would put it in her mouth and she would spit it back. She'll suck it for a bit and then she'll spit it back out. So we had to keep holding it for her. She did take this one for a little bit, but then I started thinking maybe the nipple was too big. Maybe that's why she's struggling keeping it in her mouth. So I went to um, a birthday party and I saw a baby, she had, the baby had like a small, the nipple was so small. And I thought to myself, oh, I'm gonna try that because it could be a thing that it's, it's the nipple is too big, that's why she can't hold it in. So I decided to try the Nano Baby Newborn. This is the Nano Baby Newborn. It, it is quite small, I don't know if you can see it, but the nipple is very, very small and it's the conical shaped nipple. Now with this one, she took it for a bit again. Um, she was holding it for a little bit longer than she was holding the mam, but then she would still spit it out. Um, and that became more and more and more. So we decided to ditch that and continue again with the mam. So me being loyal and I didn't want to give up on Tommy Tippy. So I thought, you know what? Let me try the Tommy Tippy one again, but let me try the cherry shaped one and see if that one would be better. So I ended up buying the Tommy Tippy cherry shape cherry shaped one um and this one she hated it i popped it in her mouth she popped it back out she absolutely hated it but when i bought it at the time i was very optimistic i was like yeah she's gonna love it i'm gonna i'm gonna get the the next size up i'm gonna get the the um the six to 18 months one again because she's gonna love it and we're gonna just be cool as you can see she hated it and this is still in the packet so that was a waste and she didn't like it the next one we tried well we didn't really try for long um my brother-in-law bought her these ones these ones are the orthopedic shaped ones so they're also made from silicone and it's um it's got a little tottenham logo on there it's a generic one it's not branded uh but she didn't like it she didn't even suck it for a day not even a minute like the Tori Tippy one, she just literally spat it back out. So that was a no-go. So I thought, okay, let me try the Instagram one. Everyone uses this Instagram one. Um, it goes with the outfits. Like it's aesthetically pleasing because you can like match it to different outfits and stuff. So I thought, let me try the bibs one. Now this is the Instagram dummy and it's the bibs. It's made from um, rubber. So it's a hundred percent natural rubber. Now with this one, this was a go that she loved these ones. I don't know if it's maybe the shape of this, like this is it is sort of dense in a little bit. So I don't know if it's like the shape of it. It is also the cherry shape, just like the Tommy Tippy one, but she absolutely loved these ones. She keeps it in. I mean, she does get lazy sometimes where she wants you to hold it for her, but she keeps it in. She loves it so we've gone with this one now with this one the only downside to it is one when you do wash it and sterilize it it does get water inside the nipple itself but to get rid of that you just turn it upside down squeeze it and the water sort of comes out the second thing is you have to keep changing these every two, um, four to six weeks so they don't last very long you have to keep replacing them um and you know when it's time to replace them because the nipple becomes very big like this one she's been she's been go i don't know if oh, it's not focusing but this one she's been going in on it 
um so it, it got big and then it's time to change it the good thing is it does come two in a pack it does come two in a pack and like i said it comes in so many different colors you can literally go crazy and match them to your outfits um the good thing about them as well it does come in a glow in the dark ones because i know the mum ones are very popular because the the button here glows in the dark and people always say oh it's easier to find at night so the bibs one also do come with a glow in the dark now with their one it's the the handle here this white bit here that's the bit that glows in the dark so that feature is very very good because trust me when you wake up in the middle of the night you're trying to find a dummy that really helps so we had the two glow in the dark ones as well as you can see the nipples did get quite big um which meant it was time for us to change it then i discovered that bibs do another one called the bibs deluxe now this is the deluxe and it's one size and it goes from zero to three years and they can use it a little bit longer it's made from silicone and again she took it no problem now this one the nipple doesn't get as big as the rubber one um it sort of stays the same size and they can use it again like i said from zero to three years but obviously they do advise you to change the nipples the dummies again every three to six weeks but i found out that you can actually use it longer than that because the nipple doesn't get as big as the other ones so this is our winner this is the one we've been using she absolutely loves this and again it comes in so many different colors you can match it with different outfits and stuff which is really really cute um and yeah and every dummy needs a dummy clip for me anyway i i feel like every dummy you need to have it on a clip or a holder or something to keep it attached to baby or to keep it attached somewhere where you can easily get it and access it and it's not always falling to the floor and then i discovered this company they're called nibbling uk and they make their dummy clip their dummy holders they make their dummy holders from 100 percent food grade silicone so baby can put it in their mouth um and it's it's made from rubber this is one of them this one was gifted to us and this one she absolutely loves it like she puts it in her mouth um she chews on it so it, it also doubles up as a teether um i've got this one as well i don't know if you saw that earlier this is a very like a little springy one so this one is really really cute um i will link their instagram here so you guys can have a look um they also gifted me this um dummy holder i guess this is the dummy holder that they gifted me i will link everything down below um and with this one is really it, it's a decent size so you can pop in it can fit in the dummy and the dummy clip as well and it could probably fit in if you really wanted to you could squeeze in a extra spare dummy in there as well um and you just close it like that and you can pop this hang it on your nappy bag or on your stroller which is quite cool and if you're on your way to the park sometimes it doubles up as a snack pot as well so you can put little snacks in there and baby can eat the snacks from here as well so that's really really cool please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.